I'm happy. I'm thrilled to death. Beatrice Morris is one of 200 plus that showed up at this Vernon storage facility. Vernon's version of Storage Wars, a spin-off from the hit American TV series that's gaining popularity across the border. Who knows when the door rolls up what's in there, so it's a kind of a fun gambling kind of thing for people too to see what's uh, what's behind the doors. What's behind the doors are seized goods, forfeited because the owner stopped paying storage fees, a dark side of the business. It's not something that you really want to do, but it is a business and eventually they have to get those lockers uh, back in circulation if people haven't paid. It's an event that draws the curious, like Sharon um, McMurray. Because I watch it on TV and it's so much fun. This is the first time I've ever been to one. I wanted to see what it was like. 50, 25 now, 50, 25 now. To the better, it's a game of chance, a gamble, because you never know. And that's good enough for Giselle Orton. There's dresser drawers in there. You don't know what's in the drawers, because you can't go and look, can you? No. Oh. What if? What if? So. Rob Frederick paid a little more than 2500 bucks oh, for this yeah. storage locker filled with no, the no, unknown. That's right. Oh, that's the exciting part. The storage wars business is not without controversy. Some in the business, like John Hintz, There's has been an outspoken critic of selling other people's stuff. Goes. Well, who's to say that the owners of that storage facility, and I don't want to point fingers or make assumptions that would make anybody look bad. Owners, managers, anybody like that. Uh, they could have gone in there and, and taken some stuff out themselves first, put another lock on it. But Ariel Tick insists he has no idea what's in the lockers. So we don't go through their stuff. We just, we, right now we didn't do, we didn't even open the locks. We have no idea what's happening in here. And judging by the fact that people like Beatrice Morris are bidding on what appears to be junk would support Tick's argument. But is it junk? Morris paid 90 bucks for the contents of this storage locker and came out a winner. I did, big time. Paid $90 and got a $1,000 wedding dress. 475 once. In Vernon, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.